Hey guys, before we get into this one take, want to talk to you real quick about these movement watches that I have been playing with for a couple weeks. Movement was started by two broke college kids that wanted to wear stylish watches but couldn't afford any of them. Sound familiar? Maybe like your favorite YouTuber and how he got started talking about cars and podcasting? Movement watches start at just $95. At a department store, you're looking at four to 500 bucks easy. These watches are great for you, anyone you love, and they make a nice gift. So hit the link in the description and I will give you 10% off free shipping and free returns for these movement watches using my exclusive code. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. Good morning. I always say good morning because these videos go up early in the morning, even though for you, it may be the evening, it may be the afternoon, but it's a good day in Texas to be driving sports cars. The sun is shining, the track is dry, and this is Aaron again with us. Thank you, sir. This is your last car. Almost. It better be. Do you have another one? The MR2. Oh, that's yours too? <laughs> Second to last car. <laughs> awesome. Um, tell me about this Ferrari 308 because this is a really cool build. This is a 1978 Ferrari 308 uh -huh. that we went entirely through. Um, we had a short block built by Bob Norwood. The heads on Norwood the, is that that's, is that the Norwood famous, that I know? Yeah, I know the Norwood name, right? From yeah. what? Uh, he's been turbocharging Ferrari since the early '80s. Okay, yeah, that's and right. Yeah. He got me into tuning. I took my MR2 to him almost 20 years ago and bought a Motec ECU from him, uh -huh. and was perfectly happy to hand him my dollars and turn around. And he said, "Get back here. You need to know this shit." And he taught me how to tune cars. Cool. And two years ago, I went to see Bob. I'd owned this car for about 10 years, but I'd always dreamed of having a turbo 308. And I said, hey, Bob, I think it's time. He said, well, how much power do you want? And I said, well, I'd be happy with 300. He said, that's 300 bullshit, of the tires. and you know it. And I said, yeah, I guess you're right. He said, well, I've got a motor that we were going to take to Bonneville. Salt okay. flats. <laughs> okay. And I think we can use that on the street if we tone it down just a little. Uh huh. So this motor was supposed to go to the Bonneville salt flats. But in instead, another 308. In another 308. Okay. Instead, it's here with you. Instead, it's here with me. So this is a single turbo. This is a single precision 66, 62, 66 turbo. And you said the motor in this car is assembled from pieces of at least seven different Ferraris? At least seven different dead Ferraris gave parts to this motor. The <laughs> cylinder heads are off a 348, a much newer oh, Ferrari. Oh, really? I didn't realize And they're they not went, even right? off the same 348. I didn't even realize they went like they went on. I didn't realize it was the same. They go on. You've got to do some custom work with the cams. Interesting. And the firing order was a nightmare to figure out. It's huh. 360 firing order, but reverse. Weird. So that's why this doesn't sound like a normal 308, because the firing True. order changed. Right. This sounds very different from the last 308 I It's drove. a very unique sound. Yeah. Car. Okay, so this came with what? 240 crank stock. 240 crank stock. And now what is it make? 89 at the wheels. And now it's... It makes three times that. <laughs> it's really? 572 at the wheels. Stop it. Really? Really? Oh, my God. All right. Well, Have a good what time. else do I need to know? I mean, you said what you told me was uh, the clutch was interesting because the clutch is actually quite light. Uh, and you said that you guys had to actually disassemble a center force clutch meant for a Mustang and put it in this. Correct. What else did you have to do that's super weird like that? Um, we actually had to stack three adapters to get the antique tachometer to work <laughs> with the modern Link standalone really? ECU. Okay. It works. So the Link outputs a tack signal. It works, yeah. Okay. Which goes to an adapter which steps up the voltage so that this will read it and goes to another adapter because these tachometers were meant for four-cylinder cars when Ferrari built them new. So we actually had to pull out half of the tax signal. Oh my god. Well, Ferrari tuning. Yay! So here we are with a 570 wheel horsepower 308 and I'm going to go for a drive. Okay. Alright. I'm going to adjust this. This is going to be awesome. I'm so ready for this. Yeah? Shift at like 85. 85? Is it really? Fuck me. All right. Give me a minute to get used to this. Okay, kids. Here we go. This is a 78 Ferrari 308 with a turbo. What's very interesting about this car, uh, dog leg gearbox. I probably won't need first. Uh, it has reproduction 288 GTO wheels with actually... Um, Toyo R888 tires. Uh, they have no heat in them, so it may take a lap or two for us to build up some grip. This is odd. Um, so the steering is much lighter when turned. 
turning right than it is when turning left. Um, I mean, you could say that's because I'm fat, but actually at, at low speeds, that math doesn't really add up. Let's, uh, let's see what this thing is like. 4,000, 5,000. So right now, if I'm using just light throttle, I feel a little, little boost building there. All right, very heavy steering when you're turning in, but then it kind of lightens as you're holding it at the mid corner. Now that's very interesting and weird. I'm trying to get a little heat into this motor first. It was ice cold when we first started. against the door in right-hand corners. 
I love the gated shifter. Click, 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 click. Thanks to the firing order. Gated shifter. 